So okay, we will study about the Marcus Gunn-Jaw phenomena, which is also known as trigeminal oculomotor syntaxis. So it was firstly discovered by Dr. Robert Marcus Gunn, who was a German ophthalmologist. He observed it in a fifteen-year-old girl. So how it happens? There is a congenital unilateral ptosis what is ptosis it it means like drooping of eyelid so what happens that uh, when the patient or the child opens the mouth when there is opening of mouth or lower jaw particularly the mandible to the contralateral side there occurs the elevation of that tortic eyelid you can see over the picture there is a elevation of the tortic eyelid followed by rapid return to its normal position of the tortic eyelid like tosses again occur so there appears like there's a wink so that's why we also called it as jaw wink syndrome or jaw wink reflex so why it happens what is the etiopathogenesis so there is eye this is a muscle called as a levator palpebrae superioris muscle so what its function it is uh, responsible for maintaining of our eyelid position or of our eye position so this is mandible and this is a muscle lateral pterygoid muscle Lateral pterygoid muscle is a muscle of mastication. It is responsible for opening of mouth. So, as we know that levator palpebrae muscle is supplied by the oculomotor nerve, particularly the superior branches of the oculomotor nerve. And lateral pterygoid by fifth cranial nerve, that is our trigeminal nerve. particularly the mandibular branch of v3 or the trigeminal nerve so what happens at there is a abnormal interconnection abnormal interconnection between the fibers of these two nerves so that's why there is a movement of the tortic eyelid when there is a movement of the jaw so that's why we also called it as a jaw wink reflex or the synkinesis so now you got that why it is called as a trigeminal oculomotor synkinesis so now we can see that there is a tosses opening of mouth elevation of the tortic eyelid in the second picture you can see that there is a tortic of uh, eyelid and when there is a contralateral movement of the mandible there is a elevation followed by winking so it is more common in the left side some say is that males are commonly affected than females so it was firstly or it is usually recognized by mother during the feeding so uh, most commonly it is congenital in nature and it is unilateral tosses but bilateral tosses may occur when there is acquired blepharotosis like after trauma or any eye surgery so now we have syndromes associated first is a oculomotor nerve dysfunction second is a charge syndrome and cleft lip and cleft palate So what is charge syndrome? Here we have in this syndrome we have several abnormalities like ear abnormalities, congenital heart defects. We have ear abnormalities. We have genetic defects and several other defects also. So what is inverted Marcus Gunn phenomena? It is also known as a Marin Amet syndrome. Now in the picture, you can see that there is a tosses of unilateral tosses of eyelid. Now patient opens mouth, 
there is a worsening of tosses. Opening of mouth leads to the closure of that tortic eyelid. More worse tosses occurs. In the Markovitz phenomena, there was opening of the or the elevation of tortic eyelid. There is a closing of the tortic eyelid. So okay, it was a Markovitz phenomena. So whenever you don't feel like studying, read this quote and learn as much as you can. Thank you. Happy studying.